Twist, Tuck, and Pike. Up next in the high dive is Polly Pocket, ladies and floaties. Define physics. She's gonna dive it, flip it, and splash it. All while wearing a Lila Design Original. When it comes to fashion, she's already won the gold. Here we go! Yeah! yeah! All right! That dive was awesome! It really showed off the suit. Thanks, guys. Wait, where's my locket? And why are we sinking? <gasps> oh, no! My locket! Oh, no! Genie, locate locket. Your locket is circling the drain. Dive six relative feet deep to retrieve. Way too close. I know summertime in Littleton can be dull, but almost losing my locket down the drain is not the excitement cure I want. I wish Littleton had a real pool. Summer vacay's been a bust for everyone but us. Basically, all the kids at school have been posting that there's nothing to do. Hey, I know. We can make a pool for everybody. We'll have a tiny pool party and turn Dollsville into Awesome Town. <gasps> yes! Ooh, it should have a theme. May I suggest something astronomical? <gasps> pool party on Mars! We can wear stellar Martian outfits, which we'll model in a poolside fashion show. There'll be a live performance by the galaxy's number one supernova, Shawnee. Ooh! Plus an awesome dive all the way from outer space. Uh, metaphorically speaking. This'll be the party of our dreams! And our friends are gonna love it! Wait, how are they not gonna know they've been pocket-sized? The science of optics. It's all about perspective. If our guests can't see anything that makes them think they're small, they won't think they're small. Build a tent in front of the mini pool. And we'll cover the mini pool. It'll have its very own miniature Martian sky. Tell everybody they're gonna journey into space. They won't even know when they shrink. Intergalactically brilliant. most summer fun Littleton's ever seen! The runway will go around the pool. <gasps> or in it! My stage should be high for scientifically superior acoustics. Okay, Genie, scan and send schematics to print. Scanning. Sending to print. Ooh! Have you been accessorizing without me? Shawnee and I made it with the 3D printer. A simple chipset and a snippet of code. That's my new pocket watch. It's synced up with Genie, has built-in navigation, laser scanner, hologram projector, mini microprocessor, and it's waterproof. Fierce functional fashion. Woo! Baboo! I'm gonna see if my dad has more paint in his workshop. And that's why you should hire my firm, Mr. Moneyweather. With pocket architecture, Littleton's community center will be where families come first. Oh, the proportions aren't symmetrical. Or maybe my eyes aren't symmetrical. I liked it. Until the symmetrical part? Don't say that to the client. And Mr. Moneyweather's not the client yet. I've got to win him over with this dinner. Show him my community center is what Littleton needs. <laughs> Sweet moves. Hey, Dad, can I borrow some paint for a, a project? Super cool model. Ah, careful. <laughs> Glue's not dry yet. Whoa, nice community center. Ooh, is that a theater? And an outdoor field? And look at that cozy open concept atrium. This is just what Littleton needs. Thank you, Polly Pie. <laughs> now, that's the kind of enthusiasm I could use in the pitch. Hey, uh, Polly, why don't you help me with it at the dinner? Sure, what can I do? I'll talk architecture for a bit. Then you could say Littleton needs a place for families to come together. Gotcha. I aced public speaking, so this'll be a breeze. We'll make a dynamic daddy-daughter duo. Uh, it's tonight, by the way. She heard me, right? She heard me. Polly, this is the perfect color. Couple more minutes and the stage will be finished printing. 
Do Martians wear fierce flip-flops or elegant espadrilles? According to Invasion of the Marvelous Martians, flip-flops are more probable. Incoming text from Nicholas. He's got Sunday supplies! And I have green kale food dye to make him Mars-worthy. Now what family wouldn't want to hang out here? Uh, Mr. Moneyweather, come on in. Thank you. I hope you're ready for a dinner and presentation that'll blow you away. Mr. Pocket, being blown away sounds most unpleasant. Should Polly have told us her dad was having company tonight? Should we tell that man he's wearing someone else's hair? Should my dad have told me his pitch was the same night as the pool party he didn't know about? No, I guess not. Hey, Polly, come down here. This is my daughter, Polly. She's a big part of tonight's presentation. That's right. <laughs> big part. Huge. <laughs> but first, um, I'm gonna go outside for a quick sec. BRB! BRB? What on earth? I agreed to help my dad, but I didn't know it was tonight. Uh, can someone give me a hand with the ice cream? Nicholas, perfect timing. <laughs> We need you to keep the party rolling while Polly helps her dad. Seems Polly agreed to pitch her pop's idea to some guy who looks like he's never laughed before. Well, I can try, but this thing is gonna be a rager. We got so many replies on the invite that the website crashed. And to be honest, I'm a little worried I didn't bring enough ice cream for everyone. How can you walk away from the most epic pool party Littleton's ever seen? Incoming text from dad. Polly Pumpkin, come on back in. Let's tell Mr. Moneyweather how we spend quality time together as a family. No problem. I'll zip in and help Dad while you guys handle the first couple of kids that show up. How bad could it be? Welcome, everybody! This thing with my dad will barely take a sec. I'll do that while you take the guests to the pool. Polly, we need you to get them tiny. Right. Everyone, follow me. The party you're about to experience takes place on the planet Mars. Whoa. I can't see! Yes, that might seem weird, but trust me, it's, uh, much safer and more chic and darker. Very dark. Come on, everybody! Hold hands and get ready for your voyage into space! Now close your eyes and wish for the most astronomically amazing party ever. Space party! Tiny power. <laughs> this way, keep your eyes closed. Don't want to ruin the surprise. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> Jump in, or swing in, or dive in. Or just enter via the stairs at a slow, controlled, and safe pace. Be sure to enjoy a Saturn Sunday or a Milky Way milkshake. And stay tuned for the night's extravaganza. A fashion show. A live performance. And death-defying dive from outer space. Performed by Polly. <laughs> Easy. Now that everybody's in, I'll go do the thing for Dad. Hurry back! No, I can't wear the shade of green. <laughs> nice look, shrimp. My dad's probably too modest to have told you, but he's one of Littleton's best architects. Uh, Polly? Yes! His brain is very smart and in his head. <laughs> but the community center is a project close to his heart. He wanted a place where families from all over town could feel at home. Yeah, home, where you wear your swim cap to dinner. Oh, this? It's not a swim cap, it's a bedhead preventer. But since I won't be napping during dinner. <laughs> well, I never! Oh, no. Your two p uh, beautiful hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Apologies, sir. You must understand my sister hasn't spent much time in refined society with gentlemen like us. Um, you look like you could use some hairspray. Let me go upstairs and get you some. Holly, wait! <laughs> Ugh. Who 
Whoa, Nessie, where you been? That little Susie kid's hoarding Sundays, and Lila keeps yelling at me because you're not here. Now go. There's fashionably late, and then there's late late. It's time to strut, girl. <gasps> Adorbs, now let's work it. Come on, Shawnee, you got this. Blue waves swirl around me, stars twinkle up in the sky. With my friends feeling so free, full of wonder like I could fly. Awesome, Lila, but I can't stay. My dad's counting on me. But we need you. This party needs you. Just looking at you helped Shawnee put her stage right behind her faster than I got rid of last year's khaki capris. Speaking of fashion... A first from my summer collection is the Fashion Float Flotation Device and Suit in One. Get this off me. I have to go inside. I didn't install a deflator. You'll have to wait till the air lets out. Holly! Uh, I got a bolt. I promise I'll be back. Don't worry. It'll be fine. But Polly! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> hey! No more Sundays for you, you little sugar monster! Back in my day, children spent time with their parents. But this unruly generation is uninterested in their elders. Ugh, squeeze this under there. Just one sec. Get that under there. <sighs> okay. My dad's community center will change that. It has a theater for family movie night, a field where kids and parents can play sports together, and a family restaurant better than any place in town. Hmm, sounds interesting. Oh, no! Let me get that. I'll help you. What is going on? I, um, I... Just a little bloated. Sorry. Can I assist? Occasionally, I, too, suffer from... <laughs> Mr. Oh. Moneyweather, are you okay? That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, we'll go get some towels. Don't worry, gravy always comes out. You should have seen this t-shirt last week. I was practically bathing in the stuff. Incoming text from Nicholas. Susie's gotta go potty. Ay ay ay. Uh that's a thing kids are saying these days. Susie's gotta go potty. <laughs> it means time to grab more towels from the garage. BRB! There she is with a BRB again. Tiny power! Yeah. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Hey, Susie, Lindsay, let me take you guys out. No! She's afraid of the dark. I totally get it. But right now, it's time to be a big girl. Okay, Susie? It's time to go big! <laughs> Thank you for an out-of-this-world party, Polly. I wish we could have stayed for your dive. <gasps> Which is exactly what I was about to do. Have fun going to the bathroom. Bye! I'm sure the gravy on your pants will come right out in the wash. And I'm so sorry that's all I had for you to wear. <laughs> Aw, come here, Pax. I think he needs a change. Excuse me. Do excuse me. <laughs> I must take this. Hey, dude. Not much, just at my dad's super important business dinner. <sighs> Kids, am I right? <laughs> Polly will be back any minute to tell you how this community center, uh, 
uh, brings families together. I see. Even though you can't keep your own family together for dinner. Hmm? Multitasking is multi-me failing. My family needs me. Another Milky Way milkshake, anyone? Yeah? Yeah? Where's Mr. Moneyweather? He's leaving, Polly. I haven't seen your model yet, Mr. Pocket, but in terms of family, well, that daughter of yours is quite the whippersnapper. Polly is a passionate person. She may have been a tad distracted this evening, but I know she believes Littleton deserves a place like this. A place for fun. Mr. Pocket, I have other architects to see. Mr. Moneyweather, wait, you can't leave yet. We're not, I didn't, I made a promise to my dad. Please help me keep it. Ah, very well, young lady. As you've seen tonight, kids can forget about family commitments. But with my dad's community center, kids will want to hang with their parents every chance they get. Each room has a purpose. Every family is welcome. It's cooler than the coolest party. All right, time for the model. I'll get it. <laughs> that is so not how I wanted to do a tuck and pike. Please don't be ruined. Please don't be ruined. Please don't be ruined. Oh. That's bad. That is unbelievably bad. What's Dad gonna show now? <laughs> you know, we still haven't had dessert. And my mom makes a mean cheesecake. A despicable rationing. Harumph. Pierce, please help me stall here. <gasps> what am I thinking? I forgot the strawberries. We have fresh ones in the garden. They are... Never mind. Uh, how many types of cheesecake do you think there are in the world? <laughs> Let's try to name them all. Polly! Where were you? You're a bigger party pooper than Susie. You're here to stay now, right? No, we gotta get everybody and the pool out of here. Now! What? I know the party is popping, but I messed up in there and I have to make it right. <laughs> we'll help! What do you need? Know what's even better than an intergalactic gala? Conga line back to Earth! Da 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 da! Apparently, the number of different cheesecakes is infinite. But if there's nothing further... There is. Mr. Moneyweather, you have to see something. What? Where's my... My dad had a model for the building, Obvi. But let's focus on the pool. A pool kind of like this is where my dad first taught me how to swim when I was just little. And later, my mom held my hand the first time I dove off the diving board. And where Pierce and I have had water fights. Even Pax <laughs> likes to splash. A pool brings families together. A community center with a pool will be out of this world. My, my. Just when I thought this couldn't get any worse. 
You completely redeemed yourself. It's magnificent. Is that a tire swing? No. I used to have one over the pond when I was a boy. My father made it for me. Mr. Moneyweather, although I designed the center itself, I didn't design that pool. Polly did. I don't know how or when, but I think her idea is wonderful. Sounds like this family came together after all. And we want to share our idea with the whole town so that everyone can have fun with their families. I agree. I don't need to see anyone else's model. This shall be Littleton's Community Center. Look at that. He does laugh. I can't wait until your dad's community center is built. Yeah. Bye-bye, Blaseberg. Hello, Hip Habitat. Until it's built, the Polly Pool's the ultimate summer getaway. Water fight! Oh! oh, no, you didn't, Nicholas Wells! Tiny power! <laughs> We're late. Um, where are we going again? Pet therapy at the senior citizen's home. And that's the last time I'm telling you, Lila. Oh, right. My mental space is all filled up with Halloween. Before we can trick or treat, I have to wash my wig, assemble my costume, blitz up my gold, avoid getting thrashed by rose thorns. Huh? Rose thorns. Ah! <laughs> isn't exactly the route to Blue Hair Manor that I remember. Yeah! Nice work, Peaches. Wait, why are we at the Blue Hair Manor? Go big! Peaches! It's just a nice kitty. Ooh, with a styling necklace. Nurse Thorn. We're here for pet therapy. You're late. But it's 3.59 and 34 seconds, so technically we're early. Nobody likes a know-it-all. I think Thorny's bun's too tight. What did I miss? Peaches, no barking at the seniors. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, no worries, Polly dear. I think Peaches is just asking for a snack. It looks like she likes a meatloaf a lot more than we do. So, Mrs. Johnson, what are you doing for Halloween? Not a thing. Nurse Thorne says it's too much excitement for us. Maybe just take a cat nap then. <laughs> what about you, kids? Big plans for Halloween? You bet your buttons, Mr. Yamamoto. We're going trick-or-treating and then on a haunted yet fashionable hayride. That sounds wonderful. Oh, how I wish I could do that. Pet therapy's over. It's bingo night. Oh. Oh. What? We just got started. They need more time with Peaches. Plus, every night's bingo night at Blue Hair Manor. Nurse Thorne, maybe since it's Halloween, you could do something different. Like bobbing for apples instead. Oh! oh. 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 Out of the question! I'm not fishing dentures out of the bobbing barrel. Now, you and your mutt, hit the bricks. I don't want fleas in my day room. <gasps> Peaches doesn't have fleas! Peaches, back me up here. I feel bad for them. 
Yeah, unlike us, they're not gonna have any Halloween fun at all. Unless we bring it to them. After the hayride, we could come back and throw a Halloween party. What do you think? Or we could just throw them a party now and skip that whole spooky haunted thing. No way, Shawnee. It would be triple tray chic to do it all. Trick-or-treating, haunted hayride, and throwing a Halloween party. All we need is a tiny bit of costume help. Best Halloween ever! Tiny power! Okay, ladies, let's get our costume on. And these earrings will be Cleopatra's armbands. Garlic, silver bullet, vampire steak. I thought you were going as positive ion girl, not supernatural slayer. It's important to be prepared for anything that could happen on Halloween. Anything as in a dire lack of garlic on your pizza? Hey. Anything supernatural could be lurking out there. Ghosts, vampires, shapeshifters. Ooh, I'd love to be able to shift my shape. Think of the outfit potential. They're not like that, Lila. Shapeshifters can change from human to animal form. No, they can't, Shawnee, because they're not real. That's one opinion. But you have to admit, if you're a ghost, vampire, or shapeshifter, Halloween's perfect. You can blend in with all the kids dressed up as ghosts, vampires, and animals. When you put it that way, I'm afraid too. You are? Yeah. Afraid that all of those ghosts, vampires, and shapeshifters are getting all our candy. Come on! Trick or treat! Yearly nuisance is what it is. A toothbrush? A box of prunes? The 1976 Gardener's Almanac? Halloween isn't exactly off to a great start. Watch out! Poltergeist Blaster coming through! <laughs> Sorry! Ah, I think that was a real ghost! That was long-haired Linda. I know, because she borrowed that satin sheet from me. Maybe if trick-or-treating's a bust, we should just go to the haunted hayride now. Ghosts and allergies? Now that's a nightmare. That black cat again! It's a sign! Let's just go back to Blue Hair Manor and hang out with the seniors. Come on, Shawnee, there's nothing to be afraid of. Hooray! You're our special 100th guests! You folks get the VIP experience step right this way! VIP's my middle name. Is there a red carpet? Paparazzi? Y'all wait right here. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> when? You put the X in the wrong place. Oopsie. But since it looks like we're not gonna get Polly's locket, can we go trick-or-treating, Gigi? No. It's time for plan B. Is plan B trick-or-treating? Aww. They're part of the fun. They could be vampires. More to the left. No, to the right. Now go in and grab the locket. I almost got the hang of it. This is the VIP experience? Maybe we should just go back to the regular hayride where there is an actual ride. Totally lame. That vintage horse won't be good for any scares. We'll take them to the crypt and trap them there until they hand over the locket. But Gigi, I want to go trick-or-treating. Quiet! Now start walking. Left leg first, then your right. My right leg first, your right. No, like <laughs> this. No, no, no that's my right arm. Toe. No, no left. Okay, no. now Sit that's down. scary. Oh, my polka dots. Someone dressed up in a hideous horse that has eaten Grizel Grande. It is Grizel. And Gwen! Well, we're not staying hitched to their wagon. I don't know how 
horses eat that stuff. The only way you could get me to eat hay is if it was cold pressed and labeled a superfood. Hand it over! Go big! Run! Quick, this way! Gotcha! from somewhere. <gasps> Quit rolling around with that pig, Gwen! We need to get that locket! the GPS to get us out of here. Okay, turn left at that cauldron. And left at that... Like that! Ah! Go big! Hmm, a werewolf and a vampire. There's definitely some supernatural phenomena here. Shawnee, they were just people in costumes. Maybe they're vampires disguised as people in costumes. And what about that black cat popping up all the time? Meh. Could be scarier. You could be stuck at the old folks' home playing bingo with Nurse and Negative. I see uncovered free spaces. I've told you people, always cover your free spaces! <laughs> <sighs> Any one of these so-called costume people could be the real thing. And with Grizel out there, maybe we should just go... I won't let Grizel ruin our Halloween. Don't you want to check out the rest of this place? Besides, we can't waste this perfect full moon. Full moon? Supernatural activity goes up 384% during a full moon. Come on, Shawnee. All this stuff is fake for fun. Like that cemetery over there. This'll be fun. Here, have some chocolate. No one can be scared while eating chocolate. That cat again! <laughs> Girl, please. There is nothing to be scared of. Come back, Shawnee! It's just a Grizel! Again? I know, right? Quick, hide! Guys, in here! <laughs> get back here! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> At last, I finally have Polly Pocket right where I want her! And I finally got Polly Pocket's candy! Aw, ground candy. How are we gonna get out of here? <gasps> Let's look around and see if there's a crack or something we can get through. Tiny power! <laughs> ah! 
jumped over the locket. No! Never! Then you'll stay in there until you do. I'm prepared to wait. I'm not, Gigi. I really have to go to the bathroom. So bad that I... Shush, Gwen! Can't you see I'm trying to threaten Polly Pocket? This is more important than your bladder. But Gigi, I've had two large sodas with a large bowl of French onion soup, and I really gotta go. Enough! You can go later. You will give me that locket, or you will stay in there until next Halloween. What are we gonna do? This place is creepy. For once tonight, I agree with Shawnee. Total creepapalooza in here. Well, look on the bright side. Nothing can get us in here. <gasps> <laughs> or not. It's that cat! Hey, you! Leave us alone! <coughs> oh, you like my locket? So, you're not trying to hurt us at all, are you? <laughs> you only followed us to have some Halloween fun. Huh. Maybe this cat isn't so bad after all. Poor thing, Kitty. Now she's stuck in here, too. We're stuck in a creepy crypt with a black cat with no way out and a wicked witch who wants the locket on the other side of the door. Not to mention the totally disgusting spider webs. And we won't get to give the senior citizens a Halloween party. Unless Polly gives up her locket, we'll all be skeletons by next Halloween. What are you doing? Painting my nails. It calms me down in times of stress. Give up the locket. That's it. But you can't give up your locket. Grisel! What do you want? You win. I give up. Alas, your genius plan has defeated me. No, Polly. Don't do it! You can't! No, I must! Giving up my precious locket is the only way to save us! Grizel, take it! You've won! Yes! The locket! It's mine! Now! <laughs> ah, I still have the locket. Have fun with that. Tiny power. Tiny power. What? This isn't the real locket. They tricked me. Spiders. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> awesome crafting, Lila. That fake locket you made looked just like the real thing. My DIY is pretty F-A-B. And putting the real locket on the cat was genius, Polly. Now we just have to find it. Which is why we tied Lila's phone to the kitty, too. Yeah, that was my least favorite part. <laughs> I'll use my phone tracker app. It's headed to Blue Hair Manor. Perfect. That's where we're headed. Let's go. <laughs> Kitty. Time to zip into action. My locket. Ah! I missed you so much. <gasps> We got the locket in the phone, but where'd that cat go? Someone's coming! We have to hide! Mrs. Johnson, you're late for the repeat of Wheeler. Coming! Oh, my necklace. Her necklace? Wait a minute. Could she be a shit? 
Already. We have a party to plan. Ugh, this place is in dire need of a happiness makeover. Pocket party time. Did somebody say party? But how are we gonna get past Nurse No Fun? Request to have a pet goldfish. Denied. World. That's odd. Request for more comfortable seats during chair yoga. No pain, no gain. Deny! Suggestion. Something other than stewed prunes for dessert. Deny! Go big! Nurse Negative won't be crashing our party. Who wants a Halloween party? I'll whip up some decorations. Point me to the craft closet. No spit chambers here. Open this door. Unsupervised activities are not allowed. You people think for one minute that I didn't enjoy that. You're wrong. <laughs> Somebody lose these. Get back in here. You know, maybe we could use a little more fun around here. <laughs> Looks like our little party made a big difference to these seniors. Yeah, it's turned out to be the best Halloween ever. And not as scary as I thought. Oh, say. Well, it's perfect. <laughs> the treasure should be right about here! Then let's get digging! Nothing can stop us now! Except maybe whoever is responsible for this triple XL footprint. And the menacing growling from that terrifying cave. You don't think it could be the treasure guardian? <laughs> when your brother's blasting his music. For the love of bodacious bolo ties, every time we shoot the tripping scene, I have to restitch this knee patch. That's four times now. I can't work in these conditions! Me neither. This costume may be an incredibly authentic Yeti replication, but it is steamy in here. That's no budget movie making. On the plus side, the helmet cam footage looks incredible. Ooh, major impressiveness. Ugh, why does Pierce have to practice his guitar right now? He stopped! This is our chance! Back to ones, people! Nicholas, you're in the cave! Polly and Lila, on the trail! Hey, Polly, open up! Never mind! New direction! Polly, make us go big! I can't! I'm not wearing my locket! It's over there on the bed! Don't look at me. It clashed with the costume design. I stand by my decision to make you take it off. Open up or I'm coming in, Polly. Well, maybe just this once there's something more important than color coordination. Peters can't see us like this. Minute, you got to the 
count of three. One. Oh, hurry, Polly. Two. Go big. Three. Do you have my Polterburster Guys DVD? Yep, right here. Don't do anything too crazy in here. Mom and Dad left me in charge. I gotta keep the house in one piece or I'll be grounded for life. Sure thing. If you stop playing your guitar. Just for a little bit. No deals. I'm in charge. And stay out of my room. That was way too close for comfort. Well, at least it's quiet now. I jinxed that one. Great. We'll never win the Little Tin Pictures film competition if we can't even finish by tonight's deadline. We can kiss our first prize dreams of owning a Hollywood Pro Camp goodbye. We cannot give up now. People need to see these costumes. And I stayed up all night planning these shots. All we need is a new location, away from Pierce. Shot. What is he doing up there? Oh, we'll never finish this movie if Pierce is in the house. Can't we get him to leave? Not leaving is like his only job. I have an idea. Hey, Pierce, I have a coupon for a free cone at Big Bubba's. Your favorite. I'm listening. Did I mention the all-you-can-eat topping buffet? The one with the hot fudge fountain? Yep, and all you have to do is leave the house and go get yourself that free ice cream. Nah, no thanks. What? Why not? Cause I can't leave the house, Polly. That would be irresponsible. You're obviously too young to understand. That's why mom and dad left me in charge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got TV to watch and... Spider, where did he go? Get him, get him! Oh man, he was ginormous! <laughs> huh, I never realized you scare so easily. I'm going to Shawnee's for a bit. Okay, don't get into trouble or else I'll get in trouble. Got it! It's been tallied. Let's go live to City Hall. Dude, what? <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? <gasps> the hair on my neck is standing up! <gasps> shoot this movie. What do you say, director? Let's do this. And action! What is it now? Uh, you might want to come see this. That's Paranormal Patty. She's the best paranormal consultant around. Rumor has it, she stopped 100% of all reported paranormal activities in this city and broken 100% of all fashion rules while doing it. But what is she doing here? And why is she with Pierce? I deduce her plan to scare him away worked a little too well. You don't suppose that machine is going to be quiet, do you? Not even a little bit. Just last year, I saved a family from a polar guy who's been plaguing them for two months. Ghost was haunting that refrigerator of theirs. Rotten fruit galore. 
Uh, hey, Paranormal Patty. <laughs> and what proton setting was your detector set? I've always wondered what kind of electric field is required to destroy the paranormal. <laughs> oh, come on. If your idol was walking around the pocket house, you'd fangirl a little, too. Chloe Parmigiano does not walk. She glides. So, how much longer do you think this will take? <sighs> Professionally, I cannot answer that question. Sometimes paranormal exterminations take weeks. Weeks? But we barely have hours before the films do. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes! I'm picking up on something! I can feel it! I can feel it, too! Listen, Pierce, I think this is a bit too much, don't you? I mean, you don't really think we have a ghost problem, do you? Polly, you weren't there. You didn't see what I saw. But maybe the power just went out. Do we really need a paranormal investigator here? It is my duty to protect the house, Polly. For the last time, Mom and Dad put me in charge. Okay, people, there's definitely something paranormal in this house. And it's coming from that room. My room? Protocol says I uh, need to get a reading on it for just going in. Guys, we've got a problem. <gasps> the locket! You left it in your room? You don't think Patty's equipment could be picking up on it? I thought she was a total fraud, but now I'm not so sure. Holy Polargeist! There must be some kind of overcharged proton particles present! I'm gonna have to take it to the next level! Next level? Come on out, Polargeist! Mama's got you now! Look, gross! A force so powerful it blew my proton plasma detector. I'm gonna have to bring in more advanced equipment to stop this. What did I tell you? There is something in this house. I'll just tell Pierce the truth, that we pranked him. He'll never believe you. Oh, man. The Coil Reactor 3000! Which could ruin our movie and the secret of the locket, and therefore I am so over it. We have much work to do. And honestly, the Coil Reactor might not be able to do it all. That's why I have detectors, explosives, and contraptions that can hinder any paranormal power. Any paranormal power? As in the locket's powers, too? That doesn't sound good. We gotta find a way to sabotage that equipment, and fast! Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. But you're right. Let's do this! take on this force. Power I've detected is destroying my very expensive trademark machines. That's how it's done. Yeah, nice work destroying one of the coolest machines in existence. Hey, eyes on the prize. We want that new camera, don't we? You know we do. So, I guess one good thing did come out of Patty coming here today. Her coil reactor gave me an awesome idea for a special effect. Don't tell me. I'm gonna... Ugh. This lady is like a neon hat. 
loud in your face and is giving me a headache. Patty, you came back! Of course I did. And I brought my most reliable piece of trademarked equipment. What are you gonna do with that? Smaller machines aren't strong enough to take down the ghost. So I brought in the bigger machine. If you can't get the ghost out of the haunted house, you gotta get the haunted house out of the neighborhood! You can't destroy my house! I won't let you! My parents left me in charge. They would literally ground me for life! Look, don't blame me. I'm just doing the job you hired me to do. I did not ask you to destroy my house! Actually, son, you kinda did. When you signed this here contract, based on Article C, Section 3 of this agreement, you, Pierce Pocket, agreed to let Paranormal Patty Inc. take any action necessary to ensure the destruction of all paranormals, including, but not limited, to ruining properties and knocking down houses. Oh, come on! I can't be held responsible for that. I'm just a kid who lives here. Your parents left you in charge, didn't they? That's legally binding. Now step aside. I got astral beings to destroy. But, 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 but. Go big. Come on. Wait, no time to waste, resident child. Please, just hear me out. Make it quick. My bulldozer's almost warmed up. Did you ever have a childhood house you loved? I suppose. Well, this is mine and my brother's. We lived in this house since we were born. We learned to ride bikes here, had our first birthday parties here. <laughs> we even have a hike chart in the kitchen that Dad started when Pierce was two years old. We grew up here. It's our home. It's part of what makes our family so great. If you destroy this house, you'll be destroying our memories. A lot of good ones, even with Pierce. Right, Pierce? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> The allergies. Please, Patty, don't do this. Don't destroy our house. Ah, uh, I'd love to spare your home. But I can't. There's a poltergeist, and I gotta destroy it for the sake of the neighborhood. <sighs> nice speech, though, kid. You should take up acting. Might have a real career in movie making. There has to be a way. Maybe we can destroy the poltergeist on our own. That's impossible, Pierce, because the poltergeist isn't easy to destroy. But together, I bet we could get it to leave. Right, team? Great idea, Pierce. Thanks. Wait, what? We're going to take down the pocket poltergeist together. Well, I guess we can put those movie-making skills to use today. Place, says everybody. I hope my hair holds up. Are you sure this will work? I've seen a million of those ghost hunter shows. They all do it. If anyone can save our house, it's us. Can I be honest? I hate this. This is scary. I'm scared. Don't be. Here, for safety. Let's show Patty and that poltergeist why Mom and Dad put you in charge. <sighs> This sucker down. Not so fast. Oh, come on, kid. Out of the way. Leave this to the professional. According to the contract, you've been hired to get rid of ghosts. But if my sister and I can get rid of it ourselves, then your services are no longer needed. <laughs> oh, my dentures. Are you seriously thinking you can take on a poltergeist? Mm -hmm. We can. Well, this ought to be good. All right, Poltergeist. It is I, Pierce Pocket of the Clan Pocket. Show yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Very original, kid. Look, it's working. <gasps> Holy mother of ghosts! We should have given it a bow. What? Why can't our poltergeist be freaky and chic? If anyone is suited to saving the pocket house, it's us, the pocket siblings. You're right. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on! I can't bulldoze a house with resident kids inside! Or can I? Okay, step one. Summon the ghost with a bird call. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Who dares awaken me? It's P -P Pierce and Polly P -P Pocket. And we're here to save our house. <laughs> Good luck. Pierce, step two. Spirit dance. What? It was in the DVD you borrowed. Did you even watch it, or did you just take things from my room? Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Let's dance. Hey! Hey! No, not, not the spirit I dance. dance. It, it can't, can't be. be. I think it's working. Hey! <laughs> Found it! Ha! Huh. Looks like resident kids aren't an issue. Hold on their time! Your, Your dances, dances! They're, they're destroying, destroying me! If these moves are destroying you, then you better beware of this! Like Shawnee. <laughs> Nicholas, think fast. Uh, wow, Polly. When did you shrink the electromagnetic particle inverter? Remember when I mentioned that special effect I wanted to try? Great Caesar's ghost! Finally! At least we got one successful shot today. My bulldozer! How am I gonna knock down the haunted house now? Patty, your services are no longer needed. Oh, please. There's no way a bunch of kids did that impossible task. Wanna bet? Go check for yourself. Fine, I will. What if she sends us something else? Don't worry, she won't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the plan worked. Who knew Pierce was such a rock star? For real. I'm a trained paranormal researcher, but I'd never be that brave if I saw that stuff. He was pretty good, huh? Maybe I don't give him enough credit. We actually make a great team. Uh, but apparently that doesn't mean he won't still annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. We may have defeated Ghost today, but we definitely missed our movie deadline. Yeah, no way we can shoot the ending in time. I wouldn't be so sure. We accidentally left the camera roll, and Pierce was wearing the helmet cam. We got the whole thing! We have it all! The special effects, awesome lighting, acting chops. Don't forget the costumes! Hope you guys aren't mad, but I took the liberty of uploading the film just before the deadline. I can't believe it! It's live! Look at the views! Everybody loves it! What are you guys watching? 30,000 views? I'm famous! <laughs>